guys, Karibu Internet is the best place in the YouTube sphere, Kaluhi's Kitchen. Today, I'm going to make something that I have been craving for the past few days, and that is a butternut soup. I've been having a butternut in my pantry, and today, it's about to go down, baby. And for that, we are going to make a chili cinnamon butternut soup with the nutty elements of coconut cream and the warming qualities of ginger. It's super easy to make, and I'm going to show you exactly how I'm going to make mine. Buckle up, this is going to be short, but very sweet. Kama kawaida. If you're yet subscribed, please do. If you already have, asante sana. You are my kind of people. Karibuni sana everyone watching. Let's get started. My sufria already has some oil and a bit of salt. And my ingredients are already prepped and ready to go and I'll talk you through as we go along. So, Ekamaskyo Chondong. I have some red onion which will be the first ingredient to go in. I like red onion for my soup because not only is it uh, an assertive ingredient, it's bold quality, lends to any soup you cook it with and that makes the soup nice and full bodied and that's exactly what you're going for. for. <laughs> My second ingredient is some ginger. Not only is ginger nice and warming and perfect for any soup, to be honest, it also has amazing anti-inflammatory qualities, so it's good for the tummy and also good for your body overall, so it's hard to be here. I also have some thyme, which I'm going to add in, and I bought a sprig from Carrefour, and a bunch cost about 30 shillings. Now that we've gone through the first ingredients, we can go right in and add the onions followed by the ginger and then our thyme. This has been simmering for now a couple of minutes and everything smells so amazing. Nice full bodied aroma and I know this is going to be so warm at the end. Now that my onions are now just starting to soften, we're going to go in with the ingredients that are going to form the bulk and the body of the soup and that's my butternut and my apple. apple I like apple in my soup because it doesn't directly add into the flavor of the soup but because it complements the other qualities of the soup itself it makes the soup a lot more complex and a lot more full-bodied it's an ingredient that has to be there don't tell me oh Kaluhi, i decided to remove the apple that will not be my recipe so me i don't know what you're doing the apple has to be there Make sure you use a red apple because it's a lot sweeter and to complement the sweetness of the butternut and that of the coconut cream, not a green apple because the tartness will throw everything off. That said, let's add everything. Everything smells so good and I'm so excited about how this will turn out. <laughs> this is going to be a bomb ass soup. And let me speak about the spices I use just so that you know why I use them in the first place. So cinnamon, it's a sweet spice. It will complement the flavor of the coconut and also complement the nice softness of the butternut and the apple. I also added some clove, aka karafu, because I love, love, love how bold and warming it is. If you've been following me since 2014, you know I love my clove and it's hard to feature here. Not only is it warming on its own, paired with the ginger, it will always, always be a match made in heaven. Lastly, I added some chili because I wanted a bit of heat and also something to contrast the sweetness and softness of the coconut cream and the cinnamon. For that, I added my chili. And with the chili, just go, you know, pole pole, kidogo, a little bit goes a long way, so don't overdo it. The chili I use is the one by the Latini Relishes, which I have really, really been loving of late. I'll link her contacts down below, so go check it out and buy some. But if you don't have um, the exact chili paste I use, just go with the bad eye chili we can find at Mamamboga. Cut it very, very small and add it in. This cooking phase is very important while making a soup because it is the stage at which the flavors blossom and develop in intensity. So do not even think about skipping this stage. Everything looks so nice and I'm happy with how things are so far. So I'm going to go in with the other ingredient which will elevate the flavor of this dish and that's my coconut cream. Oh. 
grab my kifuniko, cover my sufuria, and see you back here after about 10 minutes or so. Bye! <laughs> Okay guys, now we're back here after 10 minutes, so let's check on our soup. Um, smells amazing. All the flavors have come together really, really well. It looks like supreme mashakura, but <laughs> at the end it's going to come together perfectly and very beautifully. So now we're going to take a fork and just poke, ooh, poke and see if the butternut is completely soft and done through and through. Let's take this one, poke. Perfect. Everything is completely soft as it should be. So now we're going to turn off the heat and then let this cool for about, okay, cool until it's completely cooled down. And then we're going to add everything into a blender with it until it's completely smooth. Then return it to our pan, give it another run and then ladle it into our bowl. If you have a hand mixture, just do it over here. It will shorten the amount of time, which is another plus. But for me, I don't have a hand mixer, so I'll use my blender. So see you on the other side as we finish up our soup. Okay guys, here we are with another amazing soup recipe to add to our already broad soup collection. My chili cinnamon butternut soup will be your favorite, that I can guarantee. It smells amazing, looks amazing and kamakawaida, we have to give it a taste test. <laughs> Let's go in. Mmm. Wow. Mmm. Wow. This soup gives you taste buds the party it deserves. The first note that hits your tongue are that of the coconut cream and the butternut. The softness of the apple is indeed detectable. As you swallow, you can feel the warmth of the ginger and the clove. You can appreciate the warmth of the cinnamon and the thyme ties everything together. That is what a good soup is about, depth and complexity. I hope you try out this recipe, it's very simple. Kamakawaida, don't forget the exact recipe quantities are on my blog, link on my description box. There is a downloadable copy as well, so go check it out and get it for yourself. For me, it's now time to go and grab my mkate, toast it and enjoy my soup. I hope you love this video. For me, time to go enjoy the rest of my day. Bye guys! I see.